The process begins with customers waiting in line for an employee to take their order. Because of the excess demand relative to the capacity of the system, this can often take a long time and lead to customers waiting in upwards of 15 minutes. Uh, an employee will then take the customer's order and prepare his food. Uh, next, the employee will cook the meat uh, for approximately two minutes, during which time the customer will wait. After the meat has been fully cooked, the pasta is then put into boiling water and cooked for another two minutes. The food is then handed to the customer and he begin, uh, heads towards the register. The customer will then head towards the register and pay for his food. The employee will ring it up, return the card to the customer, and the customer will leave. Okay, so this is the process flow diagram uh, for a customer at the IMD River Room. Uh, you, the customer begins by placing an order. Uh, their food is then prepared by the staff. Uh, their food is cooked. Uh, the meat is cooked, excuse me. The pasta is cooked, and then they pay. Uh, there's an estimated demand uh, for this for the river room of about 120 customers per hour, uh, and a capacity of 30 customer, uh, customers per hour calculated below, leading to a flow rate of 30 customers per hour. Its flow rate is the minimum of demand, <coughs> excuse me, and capacity. All right, so this is the updating diagram that we showed. We're adding two more pasta cookers, and then as we, as we, saw, we saw that capacity is increased like 300 percent as the flow rate change to 90. Although it's still waiting time, but it's more efficiency and during the revised process, the customer will spend far less time waiting in line for his order to be taken. During the revised process, the customer will receive his pasta far faster than he had previously, as there are multiple pasta drops serving multiple customers at a time.